Maybe you don't understand how Muslims still they view us. And when I say Muslims, I mean Islam. How Islam look at a, at a human being? You know, all of us, we have eyes, right? But Muslims, they have different eyes. Because as their prophet says, you are the best of mankind, and your duty is to bring them into Islam by chain. And the Quran says that non-Muslims are equal to pigs and donkeys and monkeys and animals. Kal an'am. And even worse. Chapter 7, verse 179. Chapter 25, verse number 44. They are the same as cattle and even worse. Who are they, those who they are the same as cattle? Everyone is non-Muslim. So when a Muslim, he look at you, he look at a cattle. You are a goat. This is why they believe, and Islam believe, that slaughtering those people is not a slaughtering of a human, it's a slaughtering of a cattle. Actually, there's a Muslim, he explained to you this verse very well. And as usual, those who believe that we are cattle, they live between us. Because the stupid European, they opened doors for them. To the point England became the nest of terrorism. This is the truth. Listen carefully how this Muhammadan, he explained to you who is the Muslims and who is non-Muslims. And remember, this is his view, not mine. So don't blame me for what he will say. To some friends that we have over here. We've got some cows, as you can see, they look a bit vexed. I'm not gonna get too close because they look a bit aggy. It's the cow gang. Three really look like they're on this thing. Basically, brothers and sisters, just seeing the cows reminded me of an ayah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the people who are misguided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they're more misguided than the cattles, that they are more astray than the cattles, right? Than these cows. Now if you think about it, brothers and sisters, a human being, right, who doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has less value than these cattle right here. Because at least from these cattle and these cows, you can get milk. At least from these cows, you can get leather. You know, you can get something from them. There is some benefit that comes from these cows. Despite how, you know, if you look at them as an animal, you know, they're, alhamdulillah, they're a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they're not the most intelligent animal. You know, they're not the most, you know, like you can see flies all around them. And But a person who's misguided, a person who's astray, a person who doesn't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has less value on this earth than these cows. Because these cows, like I said, at least they produce some fruits. I mean, look at this potato coward. He speak about cows, they produce milk. What do you produce? The car behind him is Mercedes Benz. The camera he's using either is Japanese or Chinese, but for sure not Islamic. The phone he is using is not made by Muslims. The clothes he is using is not made by Muslims. The microphone he is using is not made by Muslims. And the milk he is drinking is not made by Muslims. And yet he is saying that cows are better than you. Have you ever heard of a stupid white supremacist cult more than Islam? They think they are the best. So the Chinese in China, they don't, who don't believe in Islam, they are cows for him. The Buddhists are cows. They are less than cows. The Christians, the Hindus, they are less than cows. Muslims are the only human being in this earth. The rest are less than cows. At least the cows, they produce milk, he said. What do you produce? And notice carefully, YouTube will not take such a video down. This is not a hate of spe speech of hate. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
This is not a speech of faith. Christian Prince, he play it, they might take it down just because I play it, you know? Because I'm showing you how faithy it is. But the guy who made this video, they will not take his video down. This is not hate of speech, this is hate of this speech of love for YouTube. Look at this, beautiful. You put it very well, brother. Well, very well done, brother. And what make it more funny that his Mercedes Benz in the back, what do you do for a living to have a Mercedes Benz? Are you a refugee? You are the same as a cow in their eyes. We've got some cows, as you can see. They look a bit vexed. I'm not going to get too close because they look a bit aggy. It's the cow gang. They look like they're on this thing. Basically, brothers and sisters, just seeing the cows reminded me of an ayah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the people who are misguided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they're more misguided than the cattles. That they are more astray than the cattles, right? Than these cows. And if you think about it, brothers and sisters, yeah, think a human about it. being, yeah. right, mm. who doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah. he has less value than these cattle right here. Because mm. at least from this cattle and these cows, you can get milk. Mm -hmm. At least from these cows, you can get leather, uh -huh. you know, you can get something from them. Mm -hmm. There's some benefit that comes from these cows, despite how, you know, if you look at them as an animal, you know, they're, they're a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they're not the most intelligent animal. No, they're not the most, you know, like you can see. No, you are the most intelligent animal. You are. I mean, you are a genius. You are the only animal in the world who is genius, Mr. Dawa. I mean, what, 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 what's wrong? How in the world even they allow those people to live in England? England is the worst place in Europe to live in. So the video keep going. The guy is talking about how you Christians, you Jews, you Hindus, you Buddhas, you, you atheists are a bunch of cows. Actually, cows are better than you. They make milk. What do you, do, what do you make? The being who is misguided who doesn't worship Allah, that human being will live in this world and all that human being will leave behind is his feces and his urine and his bones and his skin that will rot into the ground, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, all that a human being he leave behind him is his feces. So why you Muslims go to your prophet and kiss his grave? Mm -hmm. There's nothing behind except his feces. Actually, we can show reference where the Muslims are fighting over his feces. We can show reference where Muhammad he say that the one who drink his urine, no fire will burn his stomach. The only religion who claim that they don't believe that Muhammad is God, yet they drink the feces of the man who they follow is Islam. That is shown as science of intelligence or sign of intelligence. We go back to Zak and Naik. Shall we? So we showed you how they view us and who and you know by adopting such a view that all non-muslims are dogs donkeys worse of creatures you cannot have peace in your heart because wherever you go you see around you a dog disgusting dog even dogs are the enemy of allah i mean all the world love dogs except muhammad and muslims you have a phobia from everything Phobia from music, but name for me one Muslim who don't listen to music. Just name one. Especially music which come with porn.